Hello everyone, welcome for this new community show. May you all be welcome. Um, thank you to all of you for checking out our video and to check up our game. I would like also to say another little word in general to each and every one of you that are giving your feedback. May it be on the forum, on Discord or by slash report in-game. First of all, thank you very much for your feedback. Secondly, I promise you that all of the feedback that you're giving, even if we do not answer, we are reading it, we are discussing it, we are considering it. Sometimes we're dismissing those ideas because they do not fit our philosophy or they are not practical or they cannot be done because of technical issue or whatever, or maybe they are a really good idea, but they are put aside because we need to focus on other things first. Um, know that we do have a kind of vision of the game that goes beyond the, just the next week. We are seeing like in a grand distance on a long timeline and we have some restriction. We do have the restriction of our funds, our time, and our manpower, and also some technicality. Within this constriction, we are trying to evolve and to make the game grow, but sometimes it is just not possible, or sometimes we need to favorize a certain solution that might not be the best or the ideal solution, but we have to do at a certain speed or in the limitation of what we can offer and therefore we are choosing one solution rather than another. I'm going to take an example that has come back very often during the discussion lately in the feedback, which is I wish that I could customize my character more. It can be from the physical customization of your character to have more graphical options to choose from, or the talent, the speciality, the class feeling of your class. So you are right about that. We have certain limitation in the customization of your character. They can be expanded the physical one relatively easily that being said it requires time from our artist and that if they are focusing on putting new customization for your faces and your haircuts etc well they cannot work on armor style they cannot work on your creature on an asset to put in the world so we always need to think about that we have three artists those three artists have tasks to do and they are spread among different aspects of the game that all can benefit from more variety and more uh, you know art style you will agree with that that it's cool to have new creator it's exciting to have new decor uh, it's nice when the dungeon does not look all the same um, you want more different armor style etc so all of that need to be done so we really need to spread the work among our different artists so they can uh, expand the game in different direction all at once so we have to make choice and sacrifice uh, in the case of the um, abilities customization this is also a system that has been uh, we have gone a certain route because we needed to be efficient to balance the game <clears throat> sorry we need to be efficient to balance the game in a certain time we have uh, one person that is really working on all of that and that person has a limited amount of time we need to work on many different things also and we have to choose sometimes some solution that are a little bit more limited because we don't have a team of 15 person to work on that right so you have to think about this this is not a lack of will or desire of ideas from our part it is more that we need to navigate in a very restricted area and we have to be the most efficient and to always find the most ideal solution that work to improve the game and make it 
enjoyable for you, but at the same time that is doable by a limited amount of developers uh, within a certain timeline and with a certain um, technicality restriction and fund. So all of that make us what we are and we are doing our very best. We are listening to your feedback and we are considering it. And uh, that doesn't mean we make no mistakes. Uh, of course, we are going to make some. Maybe we are choosing a wrong direction or we could have chosen a different something. Um, but we are doing our best and we are listening to you always. That's something you really need to keep in mind. Uh, there is no feedback that goes on deaf ears. We are considering everything. And even if we are discussing with the players in a forum thread, for example, and challenging your feedback, it is more to open up a discussion to maybe have uh, other inspiration or to understand what you really mean or to go in, in depth, you know, uh, there is all of that that, that comes to it. You need also to understand that uh, on the forum, sometimes um, uh, there's the problem of communication and to really transfer a message as efficient as possible. So we're really not looking to offend anyone. We don't want dispute, certainly not me. I really try to avoid as much as possible any kind of conflict anywhere in the world because I don't like that. I prefer when we understand each other. Um, so we're doing what we can. That's the end of the message. What do you think? Are you planning to cover the roadmap in what you are working on now? So in this episode, that's not what I am going to speak about because you can see a thread about that on the forum. You can see the roadmap for the whole year. And you can see also on the QA server what we're planning for the for dispatch. So I, I've been discussing about that in the previous episode. So um, you can check those episodes or directly the threads. So the, depending, I cannot really tell you, okay, this episode, you will find this information, etc. Uh, on the top from, of my head like this. But I'm going to show you very fast where you can find those. Here you're seeing the forum. So if my memory are good in Stormhaven Studio, you will find... Um, there, Embassy Drift press release, price change, content roadmap. Okay, so that's where the thread is. So we have the major content release in our first first month. So this thread had been released in February, I think. Yeah, February twenty four. And twenty twenty three major feature roadmap subject to change. There's the alchemy system, Redshore Depth. Oh, we have been working on that. That has been released already. Highland Hills, Grizzle Peak, and some storylines and creatures. Uh, the Scrat, the Scrat has become the Shriek. <laughs> we have the Cabal Fanatics, etc. So you can check out that thread over here. And there you go. That's the May plan so for the patch that will happen the 30th of may the 30th of may we will have a new patch me to do list the following point are not yet in the game so that may interest you as well pretty new ember veins we have tried once with the team it was really cool very very nice ember vein i think you will like it weapon flanking revamp stat caps new hats tooltip improvement new quest and three billboard improvements all right so the new quests are the crafting quests so a lot of the me to do list is on the qa server or not it's not it might not be implemented yet but it's being discussed right now what we do ask to every one of you if you want to try a new feature especially if you are a little bit scared of the change please test it out figure out 
how it works and then give you feedback. Uh, do not try to make too much assumption before you have the occasion of really trying it and see how it works and if it's actually beneficial or not. Um, because it's a lot of discussion for nothing. If you're just reading some patch notes saying, oh, okay, that's going to be that. Um, that's not feedback, right? Feedback is when you try it and you experience it. So we have been discussing all of the addition May the 4th, May the 5th last week. Last one is May the 9th, so last week. Bat Screech should no longer stack. Replace water plants in Central Vein, Aquifer, Ember Vein and all other dungeon room. It should look a bit more like water now. Reduce memorization time for lay of the land and resuscitate to one second. Move the red shore monolith to the western side of the zone. Augment can now be stacked. You can stack a maximum of five on a single item. This only increases the hint count weapon and duration armor, not the stat itself. So what does that mean? You know that you could place some augments on your armor or your weapon, for example, but now you can continue to, to store them on the weapon, for example which allow you, before you go in a dungeon, to take five augments in your bag, for example. You are at the dungeon entrance, up you start, you start to put them on your equipment, and you have for one hour or one hour and a half of augments on your equipment, and you don't have to store them in your bag anymore. You can utilize them in one shot, it will last a certain number of time. This allows you to prepare your adventure in a different way. So you do not have to stack up all of your augment in your bag. You can use all it at once and freeing all the space in your bag for your precious loot. Added an aggress point in the middle land, Ember Oasis. Ah, nice. That's really cool. So in the wolf cave, in the spider cave, you had this ember ring in the middle and now you will have an egress point that will allow you to exit so that will help a lot for the um, wolf cave spider cave uh, expedition we can do there fix it insulated trussers to provide chemical damage resist in save instead of chemical damage okay that was a mistake probably fix it the level on diet jack trussers Fix it some environmental bugs in Middlelands, North Reach, and Dry Foods. Fix it augment displaying information twice on tooltips. And fix it plus stat displayed on tooltip are now sorted for consistency between different items. Started the process of cleaning up tooltips. This will likely take several iterations as there's a lot of data and different situations to work through. This cleanup includes general formatting, improvement, spacing improvement, improved durability display, improved weapon dice display, and improved stat display. So that I told you earlier during the stream that we were improving the tooltip. You can already see some of them on the QA server. There it is. Do you have any questions about this? So, uh, yes, Frank is asking, move the red shore monolith to the western side of the zone. So the red shore monolith has been, um, we receive a lot of feedback since a long time related to that monolith, either to put two monolith or whatever, but we cannot put two monolith without a big change in terms of tech, etc. So we have just been replacing the monolith. Um, it's not in game yet, so it is better placed, more convenient, nicer, more in the middle. I don't know exactly how it is, and uh, I have not seen where it is exactly, so I do not know yet. So another announce is um, we are currently planning an open weekend in June. I cannot give you the date yet, 
uh, but it's exciting. An open weekend means obviously a streamer marathon event and plenty of festivities in-game. So you can expect me to organize different events and the streamer marathon where you will be able to see different streamers, maybe on YouTube or on Twitch. We are covering the entirety of the weekend with special event, live stream and one giveaway per hour. So once again, there will be one giveaway per hour. So if you want to win some game time or a game for a friend or for yourself, join us during the special streamer marathon. And I will be publishing the schedule once it's planified. Uh, I am currently working on that. It will be shown on the forum and on social media, of course. So you will know exactly where, where to go, who to watch at what time. Crimson is saying, I want to try this out for sure. That's really, really cool. I hope you will, you guys will be able to try it out. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited as well. Uh, the last streamer marathon event that happened in January had received a lot of really positive feedback from anyone trying the games or enjoying the event, especially the community, because we we set up different type of event. We really try to welcome the new players and to accompany them. I think the world community felt really involved and that's exactly what I want to try to reproduce, to replicate. So this uh, open weekend of June will really be an occasion to celebrate for everyone, for you, the community that is already playing the game, for the players that want to try it and see if they enjoy it and for the streamers and you really have this this kind of festive feeling around Ambrose Drift. We really want to invite more people into the game and show to the world the progress we have done, that we have a very nice concept, that our game is cool and that you can enjoy yourself and basically we want to expand our community obviously we're a small community it's really cool it's nice it's cozy and friendly but we would like to expand it and to have more people so everyone can really enjoy uh, grouping with other player at any time of the day or the night whenever you play it's comfortable you ensure to see and to find other player and avoid any kind of drama that can happen when a community is expanding because that's my nightmare oh no more players more drama ah! <laughs> so critical juice gaming you mean you don't want to deal with all the childish troll that will eventually show up well that being said we didn't have much pure trolls um, that we have been very lucky to have a limited amount of people yeah it has happened that we had uh, been forced to rename some people because they had inappropriate name and stuff like that. But most of the time that's okay. We didn't have to face too much of that. That's great. I don't think our game really attract those type of people. They're not saying, oh, okay, let's go. Let's troll those people, uh, thankfully. Um, but it's more like kind of stupid disputes. Let's imagine two group of players are disputing. That's w w one case that happened before. I don't really m remember the name of the person that were involved, but you had two group of grown up players that were fighting over one single rabbit camp in Middleland. While you have plenty of other rock with, with Quillback. So if you really want to level up with a group, there's plenty of other spots where to go with your group. But I, I, they were fighting and so pissed off that I had to actually moderate the fight and I had to manually teleport the group to another rock because they could not organize themselves. And that's the kind of things I really don't like to do because I think my energy, my time, and uh, can be devoted to more constructive things like organize events for the whole community or uh, create content, um, you, you know, organize forum posts. I don't know, there's plenty of tasks that I can be doing. Having to moderate a conflict between people 
I hate that. I think it's a waste of time. You're supposed to be able to do that and to be wiser uh, than fighting for just a quill back rock, for example. But there had been other case of other situation. And in general, when you, uh, from my point of view, both group, both camp are usually kind of right and wrong at the same time. And I can see their perspective and I can say, okay, yeah, I understand your point of view. I also understand your point of view. And so there's no really, I, I cannot say, yeah, those people are wrong. They are get, getting out. So very often when you have a player that is reporting another player, they really have the feeling that they got offended and that they are right. While in fact, it's much more subtle than that. They are not wrong, but they're not really right either. And so it's very difficult to moderate and you never make anyone happy. And sometimes people are so pissed off that they just leave the game because they are not happy in the way you have moderated the, the conflict. But sometimes you, you cannot say and you cannot agree. Yes, they were very wrong. They should be punished. They need to be banned. No, it doesn't work that way. And so it's a position I really don't like to have. And unfortunately, that's an aspect of my work that I have to do. There we go. Yeah, I do not know when the third part of Forgotten Depth will be released. I do think so. we will be working on other stuff first. But it's going to be cool. All right. So do we have more questions? Oh yeah, the Nathan Napalm. Oh, that's great. I have something to show you from the Nathan Napalm in a moment. When we're done with the question, I'm going to do a round of promotion for the community content creators. And we have several content creators to check out. Uh, before I was doing one, you know, uh, once a week, one different content creator. But today we're going and we are going to do more than that. <laughs> so, Pell Ambassador Drift, I love seeing people posting their now streaming announcement in the content creator channel. That's really cool. I, I do know that some content creator are not doing it. If you are a content creator and you hear me right now, please do so. We have a channel where you can self-promote. You can promote your YouTube video, your live stream, if you are doing an article, a blog post or whatever, you can promote it there too. If you're doing a guild event and you want to invite other players, you can promote it there as well. And I will do my best to promote you and to support you in your content creator career. But before you go all losing yourself in game again, Let's discuss and let's show up a few content creator creation this week. A creation of the Nathan Napalm. Let's me present you Blue Peter, I love you. When I look up and see you up in the sky floating suspended way up high always at true north catches my eye I would come see you if I could fly now I'm looking at red upper but that's not what I want to see I want to see blue better true north true north above the sea it's all I want just this once, I want to sit down by the ember ring and look at Blue Bitter floating in the sky, <laughs> floating in the sky, in the sky. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, in the sky. Blue Bitter, I love you. Now we're going true. Up in that star, see All right. shining down on me. True. We're not going to watch the whole video <clears throat> because you need to check it out for yourself on YouTube and give it a like or a comment and subscribe and do all the things. All right. 
So it, it is, of course, a parody. Don't take it too seriously. They are not aimed to be the next uh, uh, summer song. But it's super fun. <laughs> it is pretty fun. Here we are speaking about Pantheon Plus. Pantheon Plus is a channel that gathers different streamers, different yes content creator and they are gathering to do some uh, live streaming and some youtube video they are as their name suggests fan of pantheon so they are doing a lot of content around that type of community so everquest lord of the ring online and plenty of other memory pg there had been a series about embers adrift including a review of the game and what's really great is that one of the people one of the streamer that were part of this review didn't like Embracer Rift, exposed his opinion. Fair enough, he had you know many arguments that were absolutely valid. It was a very interesting video, by the way. And now he actually liked the game. And he has said it many times on Twitter and um, even directly to me, I think. I, I, I used to not like this game and now I really love it. So you did a great job. So that's very heartwarming because it showed that our efforts have been fruitful and that the game has been improved, at least for some people. So that's great. But here we have another team include Drac, Dimlos, Dwimble, and the Nathan Napalm. And they are making new character. Now they're level nine. G-E-L. Wait, wait, wait. There's no E at the beginning? There's no E. It's just you're supposed to know to say the S. S-G-E-L. This sounds like it's named after a cream of something. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just, let's just say Drac isn't super, like, super creative when it comes to names. <laughs> And so he would just take Flip words okay. and then spell them backwards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. Wow. Wow. Oh, you just look down. Well, as you can wow, see, Drag. they're having fun. <laughs> and it was a female name, Bet. I see. Yep. I see. Yep. <laughs> and then <laughs> it all comes together, doesn't it? All it all comes together. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was way more revealing than I expected it to be. <laughs> and they're doing... It could be worse, you could have named it Kid. A late KCID. night <laughs> type of stream. Wow. In his defense, he did so also it's late the evening, bard, it's on Monday. I took over the bard and that's yeah, how he I stole my life. bard name! Oh. It wasn't the name, I just oh, wow. took it as my own. The whole character. Like, you don't get to play this anymore. But I have not seen those videos on YouTube, so you can check them out the Monday on Twitch. Um, you can follow Pantheon Plus on Twitter, of course, to know when they are streaming. But they are also linking the show um, in the community content on Discord. So if you want to check them out, it's the Monday evening, quite late. It might be early. So here you have the link towards the VOD if you want to check the VOD. There you go. It's like going to my wall. Nick Brick. A deep push formation. Nick seventy six Brick. Um, he just started the game recently, and you can see him on his character oh, school. So you mean there's a. And he's streaming. There would be a um, at the same time than when I start, which is the morning. Yeah for uh, sure uh, the is. eastern coast <laughs> but sure let me sh oh there you are hi <laughs> uh, just at I'm the moment that's funny <laughs> overthinking things too much um, i leave that to other far smarter people than i such as yourself nomo <laughs> uh there's a wonderful streamer uh, I can't remember his name right now. That that uh, that offered to you know. So what I will say about Nick's Bricks is that the vibe is very chill. So it's really a nice morning stream where you can get in while eating your breakfast and chilling with your coffee. So a very relaxed vibe, 
and uh, you're very welcome to play with him as well i think uh, it's always welcoming players to play along um, during that time so there it is what what is your level level seven at the moment maybe a little bit higher uh, because i i didn't talk the last stream so no of course so there it is i wish i was a morning person nikki's cool yeah nice on box that's really cool <laughs> So yeah, if you have a low level character, you're very welcome to, to play with Mr. Nick Briggs. Maybe we will play together on Thursday, as Thursday I'm focusing on new players now. That could be fun. All right, so le let's listen a little bit more and then I will show you someone else. It's an excuse to drink tea. And he's also a fan of Lego. Like to me, you know, at a quick glance, the, the simple way I figured it out, you now this was my best, uh, sort of best formation, right? Well, at the very least with the puzzle that's on right now. Puzzle that's on right now is fully completed. Wow, yeah, look there at that. There it is. All, every single piece. So give a follow to Nick Briggs here that's the video in question hey. it is yeah. i've been meaning to set up a stream about one of these days. Uh, stream court is pretty stream court is pretty easy i have stream court in my personal server i can teach you how to use it <laughs> yeah <laughs> i didn't catch the woogies <laughs> and it got on the floor so here's this captain cadwell wow uh, stuck like in uh art. I like that loading art. screen. Very pastel. Is that pastel? That's kind of interesting. Uh, sure. The mouse oh, you have for, here. For like for <laughs> Discord or for um, I have a couple. Of, I have a. I've got a, quite a few bots in here. I have. Uh, okay, let's advance. Ah, uh, there we go. A bit of action now um level 14 and then we stream this game like raid nights three to four days a week is kind of what i'm mild venom me and my buddy pain enforcer were dressed as anakin and darth maul and we got a third we got 28 kills between the two of us nothing but lightsaber kills no shot Yo, oh, I should have, I should have needed that. Uh, I should have needed the spider silk. I'm gonna need the spider silk from now on. Just a uh, FYI, I'm not, I'm not being a dick. I'm just call it the claw. I'm being a needy little shit. It sounds like a night claw. Right on, bro. That's awesome. Yeah, I haven't played the uh, Star Wars update. I've been too consumed. No, no, very mind nice. If I need on the spider. Yeah, no, yeah. Go, go for it. So, Captain Cadwell is also creating emotes. He has been creating several emotes um, around the team of Embers Adrift, and he has offered one that you can use on Discord, which is for the loot. So uh, that's really cool. So you can also see a stream where he's creating those emotes, actually. So you have some art stream going on. And it's really nice because actually he's not a graphic designer, and he decided while when he started streaming to also create some some emote for for his stream and now he's doing quite some uh, art and offering a lot of emote to other player and other streamer which is really cool so it's it's a nice community member to have around so there it is for the loot yeah like <laughs> exactly i love the background uh i think it's kind of nice for for embers drift streams to have the background there it is. So, we do have a lot of nice streamers coming in. Uh, new streamers. And uh, that's really great that are going to increase our little pool of content creator for the community. So, let's hear a little bit more. And uh, after, I'm going to speak about it. Um... Uh... Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait, I can already craft them now. I can already spin it. There it is. Now you got the... You got all the things. So here it was. Different content creator to check out. Of course, we have plenty of other Lago Friends song box. We just came back to the game recently. So give him a follow as well. Uh, he's really, really cool. Um, Sprout the Healer. Also, an occasional streamer of Ambassador Drift because he's very busy with his study. But he's going back. It's coming because it's the holidays. <laughs> Obviously, Spyro and Alice also doing content for Embracer Drift. And we are all going together with many more in one magnificent event for the stream marathon during the open weekend. Stay tuned for more news on that regards. On Twitter, we will be announcing when the open weekend is going to happen soon. For now, it's still a secret. There we go. We are in Undercroft, in the second floor. The first floor is for solo player. We just skip it. We've been visiting it. Uh, it, it's really nice because you have a lot of vegetation in the ruins, so it's kind of cool. It looks a little bit like CV1. Um, and now we are going to discover this floor, and I have no idea what it is. So when uh, Cypher will be back, we will have to explain him where we are. So right now we are five instead of being six. Oh yeah, I need to eat my food and drink my tea. There. I was not placed correctly. Yeah, absolutely. But you, you, you usually stream when I'm sleeping? Or I never saw you live when I was not. Uh, when I was awake. That being said, I'm not religiously checking Twitch every night before to go to bed, I must confess. <laughs> I can do better. I can do a better job. Sometimes I'm just like, okay, I'm done working. Let's go. Let's go to bed. Okay, here it seems like and we will see if there is a three chef creator. Otherwise, it seems like it's a small group uh, wing. You know, like you are with two or three friends and you're getting there. It must also, uh, yeah, I don't know from blind free for smart bone how it is, but for me, it's I'm 25 and it's yellow, so. Okay, so when you back, you tell me, and then we get, you pick, we pick you up. <clears throat> that yellow for you too. Okay, that's good then. Yeah, we have to see. A little challenge. Mellow yellow for me too. Safer, but okay. Oh, you're referring to uh, the Reaper costs. Uh, 
Yeah, it's true. I'm just thinking about discovering new new content, you know? Like, let's explore something new. If it's too much, we can exit also and find something different. Now I can drop this here. Okay. We have another spiral stairs. I'm wondering if it's the... Yeah, okay, fine. All right, I'm not going down because I want to capture back Frank when he's back. So, and, and it's not specifically easy, so there it is. I got it. Yay! You did it! Nice! Yeah. Now we, we are losing... Ah, everyone did it. Awesome. Awesome. So we are at the mole bear area. Guys, we're going to have plenty of creator here. It's going to be a... Uh, Fun. Fun, 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 fun. And I do not know the the way. So but I have to discover. I've just lost Aluna, which is just behind. There. Perfect. Okay, well, let's start our adventure into the darkness of this cave. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we already have some stuff here above. <laughs> Don't know why. Okay, let's kill the one first. Okay, great. I'm going to set distance. Target is too close, my. <gasps> there. Okay, good. Smart bone giving you a buff. So you can this oh my god. What was going on? I didn't realize I was out of life. Okay, fine. Oh no, we have another one. Ooh. Yeah, we still should have quite some good experience because they are yellow. Just that they are dying more slowly. And when they are green, obviously. Azeliane, hi! Happy Tuesday to you! Happy Tuesday, all my lovely friends. There's still a long way to go the weekend, but Eloa made it more bearable. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I'm, I'm just exiting a quite horrible weekend, so I'm kind of happy that we're the week. 
So, score. Score, score, score. Uh, yeah. You are very annoying, stupid bat. No, this bat, like me, disengage. Her vision is the one thanking at the moment. Smart bone destroy me this bat. <laughs> Do the damage. We we don't like the bats. This is a not nice bat. Okay. Uh, little heal for Aluna. Ooh. Ooh, I'm sorry I don't have heals anymore. Yeah, just just a little bit to save Smart Bone. <laughs> Good. Oh well. <laughs> that was something. That was something. Uh, I think this adventure is uh, going to be more intense. And we have the music of Aquifer here, which makes sense because we are kind of in Aquifer. I like the music of Aquifer. It really made me think of the Naga team in World of Warcraft. Oh, oh no, 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 behind, 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 behind. <laughs> Not behind. <laughs> you stupid bat of shit. Sorry. <laughs> like, I was, I was. I was backing up, but I, I called him because I am damn it. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a it's an annoying little beast. I can promise you that. Shit, Lit little crap stuff. Look at this horrible bat. No, those flesh eating bats, they are. It's one of the worst creatures of the game, I promise you. It's the most <laughs> annoying one. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. So, as Aleana is saying, it's really interesting watching this game actually. It gives me the old school MMORPG vibe from the days of EverQuest and stuff. And that's exactly the point of this game. Okay, so uh, we have a background, guys. <laughs> we have a background, no! <laughs> One not bad, two okay, still fine, five you fucked up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I saw you, you get, you get, you get wiped. Yeah, background already. Yeah, maybe we are not ready for this. You're not prepared. <laughs> maybe we're not ready for this. <laughs> it's like a mythic plus dungeon now. Yeah, it's it's. But the mythic plus are so fast paced. Here it's kind of slow paced, and you are better to really take it easy. As mythic plus, you kind of have a timer to beat. Uh, thankfully, we don't have that here. <laughs> that would be. Uh, that will be horrible. So yeah, it, it's kind of fun because we are going to this completely different approach. It's like the challenge is going through going slow and steady. Pull nicely, be careful. We also have a, a, a quite a, a good group, so it's really not a question of um, oh shit, really. But okay, I just did heal you. I'm so sorry. What's happened? Look at that. 
Aluna already got fall in combat with the first mob we, with the first respawn. Yeah, so the indicator, it's exactly that. Um, three chevron mean you need to be in a full group. Two chevron, you can be in a small group. And, okay, that's... Oh, that's my bag. That's as far as we went. It's just here, okay. Oh, shit. And those creatures, what they are doing... They, ha they are confusing you. So when you walk, when you have this little red ball above your head or pink ball above your head, it means you're confused. So your keybind uh, WASD is mixed up. So you cannot walk in the proper way anymore. And, and you are really confused. <laughs> and here we have three creatures. How many we have? We have three, yes. Uh, we need to get the two first. Okay, I'm going to give uh, this uh, bonus to Smartborn. Oh no, 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 look at that. I'm getting wiped again. <laughs> and I'm confused, so I'm not walking the way I want to walk. Haha, <laughs> I'm dead already. Damn it. Too hard to separate. Yes, Marble and killed the, this guy here. Not the other one. Oh no. Aluna is dead too. I'm, I'm going to try to res you guys here. There we go. At least I, I, I have a screen for you. That's all I can do for now. Oh, shit. oh no! <laughs> I was about to heal you. Oh, lights. Okay. No, we don't want to stay here. Definitely not. <laughs> it's actually funny to see people get confused and they walk around into wall and everything. Yeah, or you, you, you think you're running away, but you're actually advancing in the mobs, <laughs> which happened to me earlier. So yeah, I think we're going... Ah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, Marbon, rest someone. That's good. Well done. Oh no! Good attempt. <laughs> Little monster of hell. Those creatures, those bats, are the worst creatures. I think even the ants are better. Look how they walk. Like... Nee, 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 nee. Okay, fine. Well, at least our bags are a little bit closer to the entrance now. Now we definitely need to get out of this place. It is not for us. <laughs> we will come back in a few levels. Now, I think we need to stick to Strongholds, Basilix, Eevee and uh, Spider Cave, guys. <laughs> We we're not ready for that stuff yet. The little hand just passing through. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come back for revenge in a few levels. Exactly. Then we are going to burn the place down. Mm. 
Yeah, but it creates uh, some kind of nice memory, you see? And that's the whole point of this game. It's like, uh, who got this bag? Aluna, congratulations. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Stupid bat. It was a good trial by fire. Well, we tried. We tried. I think if we were... Yeah, no, it's, it's not the right level for us. I've been here too. Uh, but the group I was with was much higher level, so I think I was nicely gelled. <laughs> um, but yeah. I think we have one creature to get. Oh no, look at that! He <laughs> had one hidden! <laughs> oh, good track, guys! I know I don't have my uh, my bag with me, so. can cannot use the things. Alright. And it's all, always attacking me, like, really bad. Yeah, in this game, the darkness is very important, so you need to use Torch. And um, it, it adds a little bit of difficulty, you see. Okay, where's my bag? My bag is here. Okay, fine. Yeah. We all have our bags. The other way. The other way. So if everyone got their bag, now we can exit. Is everyone following? Everyone is following. Okay, good. Okay. So we are exiting this place of hell. Uh, it was a, a kind of failed expedition, <laughs> but it was fun. Hello, Mercury. I hope you're doing good. It was short lived. There's the rope. Ah, yeah, we have those guys now. Dungeon of Nightmares. Yes, it is. Our first expedition to Undercroft was a complete fiasco. <laughs> As Aleane is saying, that make it fun too. It make going into a dungeon like this feel like a challenging adventure. Yes, e exactly. And that's exactly the point. That's what we are trying to make with Embers Drift. And um, your progression is slow. Therefore, every level is meaningful. All of the equipment you find is meaningful. So you have good reason to go into those dungeons because you will find some nice loot. That will help you to go in more difficult dungeon and to progress. So we're really going back to the root of the genre, which is not something that is really in favor at the moment. 
but for some people, you know, that style of game is missing. They kind of want it. Yeah, exactly. Because when it's a grind just for the end game, then it become boring. So you want all kind of skip. Here we want the journey to be the central piece of the content. And everything you will do on the way will make sense. So we are a very small team of developers. So what we want to do is to expand also our leveling experience to give more choice to players so they have more and more uh, different activity to do and to choose from. Oh! Wait a second. That's another pass. That's not the exit. I don't think that's the exit, guys. But that may be that may be a wing that is uh, easier. No, I think it's not the solo loop. I think no, that's uh, probably a small group loop. Yeah, that's probably the small group loop. Because there are two chefs. Because the solo was above. So that's the exit. But here again, uh, it's not the ideal uh, content for us. As you can see, the mobs are yellow, that means they are two level above us. I'm um, 25, so this will be for level... If we are 26, 27, that will be the perfect level for us to do that. So we'll come back at that level. We will have many other adventures to do meanwhile. I wonder what there is here. I just want to see. I just want to see what there is. Ah, okay, there is nothing. It's just uh, full of water. Okay, fine. Yeah. Just disgusting water. It could be fun if we were expanding this dungeon step by step. More and more. So we open more wings. That's the solo area.
And uh, here we're climbing up. And we can exit. Here we go. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do not hesitate to give a like or to write down a comment. It always helps the algorithm. You do not hesitate to check out all of the information related to this show in the information box, especially all the content creator I have suggested to you today and the magnificent I love you Blue Peter video from the Nathan Napalm. Check out Discord if you have not joined us already. Join us. We have plenty of information over here, as well as two meetings with the community and the devs per week. We also have the trade fair event that happened even when I'm missing it. I'm very grateful of the community to host it and to hold the tradition without me. That's really fantastic. That's really show up that things are working out. So you guys take care of yourself. I will see you another time for another episode. See you soon. Bye.